Okay, so we are at day six here now with the Arrow Garden and the IDU 10 pod systems. And I just wanted to do a check on see how things are doing. We have a lot of stuff sprouting, so let's just compare and see. So over here with the Arrow Garden, the Tiny Tim and the Yellow Cherry are the only two plants that we have planted in both of these systems. So I can see that both of my Tiny Tim and the Yellow Cherry have germinated. I have two here, uh, yellow cherries, so I'm going to have to eliminate one here at some point. We've got a tiny Tim coming here. The thyme is coming, and over here we got the basil. So everything's germinating under the arrow garden. And over here, let's check out the yellow cherry. It's just, sorry, starting. To pop through a little bit slower than the arrow garden and the tiny Tim is down there could be that they're just because they're planted a little bit deeper that they're taking longer but I can see that it is starting to germinate down there so that is the tiny Tim and the yellow cherry the arugula here is coming along good got a few of them sprouting so we'll have to cut out some we've got the chives here and i cannot see anything happening there the oregano's got nothing yet over here chamomile coming along nicely and the mint i don't see anything Okay, so we are at day nine here with the two um, hydroponic systems here, and we're going to check out how the Aero Garden's making out versus the, the I do. I'm just going to bring up the lights here so we can have a good look. I'm also using this light to uh, help uh, propagate some of these succulents of mine, so they're kind of stealing a little bit of the light. So we'll just remove the caps here now, and we can see that our tiny Tim it's coming along good. Basil, thyme. They're starting to get a little algae build up on the rock wall here, I can see. And as you can see, the yellow cherry has two germinated here, so we're going to have to cut one out, I think. So this guy here is starting to get uh, some second set of leaves, so I'm going to cut this one out here. So we're down to one nice little seedling here. So this rock wool is starting to get a lot of LJ build up on it. So I'm going to use these little covers that came with the IDU system and try to wrap it around these little seedlings. So there is a little spots here. What I do is I just cut one so you can actually open it up, take this little round piece out and try to get it around the stem of the seedling. There, so that should help control that algae now. So the thyme has a couple coming here as well. I'm just going to leave it for now, see which one gets bigger faster and then I probably will cut one of them out. So these things actually work pretty good. They're a little finicky to deal with, but uh, we'll keep this covered yet for a bit. So let's see what's going on here with the I do. We have the arugula here, which is kind of pushing up pretty fast here. So I think it's time to remove the dome. I'm going to just leave those extra seedlings in there for now just to see maybe they can all survive in there and grow. The yellow cherry has two germinating here. I'm just going to cut one out right now. It's 
far as the mint and chamomile, the mint is coming. It's down there in the hole. I can see it, a little bit of green, and the chamomile here. So you can see that it's coming along good. And on this side, the tiny Tim also shot up two seedlings. So let's just eliminate one right now so that other one can get growing. Chives, I can't see anything as far as chives and oregano yet. I won't try to put the camera on it because probably won't be able to see anything, but I might see a little germination happening here. But so far with the oregano, I don't see anything. So that's day nine. We'll come back in a few days to see uh, how things are progressing. So I just want to give you a little quick update tour of my grow tent vegetable garden here. Got a lot of stuff going on here. I'm gonna shut off the fan. Give you a little tour. So this was my big uh, indeterminate sun gold cherry tomato plant that I've been pruning. I've pretty much stopped its growth now. And I see we got one ripe tomato to pick. And on the strawberries, we also got some strawberries. I've got a nice ripe one here. I'm saving this one for my grandson Henderson. He's coming in the next hour. I'm going to bring him down to the grow tent here and show him what's growing and let him pick that one and taste it. And as far as cucumbers, we got lots of blooming cucumbers here. I'm hoping, you know, another week or so they might be ready to harvest one or two little ones. So I have three kinds of cucumbers going. They are all shooting out baby cucumbers and blooming, so that's exciting. And back here is the diva. Try to climb in here, it's really hard. So we got the diva cucumbers. You can see there's some coming there as well. And my other tomato plant in the back. This is my roadster tomato. It's finally starting to show some blooms coming here. So that one's coming along nicely. And I can see my mini bell peppers just starting to get to the stage where they're sending out some blooms as well. So I'll be doing more updates on my grow tent vegetable garden, probably adding some more plants in the next couple weeks so stay tuned for future videos. Okay, we are at day 30 here with our Aero Garden and I do hydroponic setups and let's just check out where everything is at. So at first glance, you may notice that the tomato plants that I've planted in each of these, the ones in the Aero Garden are way bigger. And I'm not quite sure why, but we're going to have a closer look. Let's start off by just raising up the lights here so we can have a good look at what's growing in the arrow garden. So we have the tiny Tim and the yellow cherry here. And as you can see, they are really taking off. They have got lots of nice strong branches. We'll have a look here at the root system. Lots of roots, lots of air roots. And as far as the other things that I grew here on the arrow garden, I did some basil. And you can see it's really huge here. So I'm going to start just pruning off the big leaves, use them in my cooking, dry them if I can't use them right away, and just see how it does. It seems to be still getting pretty good light back here in the corner, so that's good. And in the front is where I planted some thyme, and it's starting to get a little bit um, overshadowed with this tomato plants, 
and not getting as much light but I probably can just do some pruning of the leaves on this uh, tomato just to kind of make sure that that thyme gets light and can keep growing. I will say also that I have had to add water to this I think three times so it usually drinks up the water in this tank in about uh, 10 to 15 days and then I've been topping it up with just more nutrient water. Okay, so let's check out the I do. So as you can see, as I mentioned, the plants here on the, as far as the tiny Tim and the yellow cherry are significantly smaller than what was growing in the arrow garden here. So I'm not sure why that's happening, but I think maybe one reason could be there is more plants in here. So they are competing with other plants for nutrients. As you can see, this arugula has uh, really grown I'm going to just pinch it off as well. These uh, can go into my salad. The arugula was getting a little bit floppy, so I had to use a pool noodle just to give it some support. And over here is where my chamomile at the back is planted and my mint. Both of those are doing good. They're still getting lots of light. On this side at the back is my oregano, which is uh, not getting a whole lot of light right now, so I might have to do some some pruning of this plant at some point. The chives I planted never did sprout. I replanted some more seeds in there about a week ago. Still not seeing anything, so it could be that my chive seeds are no good. So as far as these little signs here, they're kind of, you know, not really serving any purpose. They're kind of getting in the way, so I probably... We'll just remove these. They're good to have in there when you first start your plants, if you can't remember what you planted. And this I have not added any water to. I don't know if you can see, but I started off with four liters and it's at the three liter mark right now. So it doesn't seem to drink up as much nutrients water as the Aero Garden does. So overall, I'm happy with both systems so far everything is looking happy and healthy and growing okay I'm going to probably add some nutrients that are mixed at a little bit stronger level than the early seedling stage and mix it up at the kind of mid vegetative growth stage next time I top these up so that is the first 30 days of my Aero Garden versus the I Do hydroponic systems. Stay tuned for future videos. I'll give you updates on how things are going the next 30 days and hopefully we will be enjoying some yellow cherry tomatoes and some tiny Tims. So thank you for watching. Happy gardening. See you on the next video.